Hi, my name is Meng He, Product Marketing Manager at Cypress. In this video, I'd like to walk you through our latest PSAP 4000 Pioneer Kit, CY80C Kit-040. PSAP 4 is Cypress's ARM-based PSAP, featuring the low-power Cortex-M0 core, combined with PSAP's unique programmable mixed signal hardware IP. We're pleased to announce the latest PSAC 4 family, PSAC 4000. PSAC 4000 is the smallest ARM Cortex M0 device in the world, with the industry's best cap sense, Cypress's number one ranked solution for capacitive touch sensing systems. PSAC 4000 provides an easy to use entry point into the PSAC 4 architecture with the PSAC 4000 Pioneer Kit as the evaluation platform. First, let's take a look at the content of the box. We have an Arduino-compatible PSAC 4000 kit, a CapSense-based trackpad with a color palette sticker on top, a mini USB cable, jumper wires, and a quick start guide. At the heart of this kit, we have the PSAC 4000 device. We also have a PSAC 5 LP device, which acts as an USB to I2C bridge and lets you program the PSAC 4000 device from the computer via a mini USB port. The kit also includes a proximity sensing header to connect the jumper, which acts as a proximity sensor, Arduino compatible headers to connect third party shoes, LEDs, push buttons, and the Cypress Ferro electric RAM. It also has a coin cell holder in the back side for powering the kit without USB. Let's begin by following the instructions in the quick start guide. First, install the kit software onto your PC. You can do this by logging on to cypress.com slash go slash cy8ckit-040 and downloading the software installer. Please install the kit software which includes the PSOC Creator IDE, PSOC Programmer, Example Projects, and other helpful documentation. Now we're ready to demo the kit. We first power the kit by plugging in the mini USB to the kit and connecting it to the PC. The kit is pre-programmed with a color palette example project. This project demonstrates the capability of the PSOC 4000 device interfacing with a capacitive trackpad and controlling an RGB LED based on the color touched in the LED palette overlay on the trackpad. Now, when I touch the color palette on the CapSense trackpad, the corresponding color will be displayed by the RGB LED. The slider controls the color brightness level. Additionally, the project demonstrates proximity sensing. The LED intensity control is done using Cypress's proprietary precision illumination signal modulator dimming methodology. To evaluate the proximity detection feature, Let's connect the jumper wire to the proximity pin. When you move the hand away from the sensor, the proximity sensor detects the absence of the hand. The proximity sensor will ramp up the LED brightness once the hand gets in the proximity range again. PSOC 4000 can achieve up to 30 cm in proximity distance. Let's take a look at the other devices on board. The PSOC 4000 Pioneer Kit has an onboard PSOC 5 LP device that serves as an USB to I2C bridge. This can be used to communicate with the USB to I2C software running on the PC. The PSOC 4000 Pioneer Kit also has an onboard Cypress Ephraim device that can hold up to 32K byte of data. This device provides an I2C communication interface for data access. It's hardwired to the PSOC 4000 I2C lines. The same lines are routed to the PSOC 5 LP I2C lines as well. Since the Ephraim device is an I2C slave, it can be accessed or shared among various I2C masters on the same line. For more details on the Ephraim device, please refer to cypress.com slash nonvolatile. Now, let's learn about configuring the projects easily using PSOC Creator. PSOC Creator is an integrated design environment which allows concurrent hardware and application firmware design of PSOC. PSOC systems are designed using schematic capture supported by over 110 production-ready PSOC components. PSOC components are free embedded ICs in a PSOC device, represented by an icon that users can drag and drop into a design. 
Each component is configured with a component configuration tool and includes a full set of dynamic generated API libraries. Once a PSOC system has been configured, firmware can be written, compiled, and debugged within PSOC Trader or exported to the top third-party IDEs from IAR, Kyle, or Eclipse. Let's open the example project. This design file uses three PSOC Creator components, the caps and CSC for the trackpad and the proximity, the UART component to send sensor coordinates, and a watchdog timer. It also uses three-digit output pins to control the RGB LEDs. You can configure the solution by double-clicking the component to open the configuration tool. Let's look at the caps and CSC component. The configuration tool allows you to select the tuning method, noise filter, number, and the types of buttons and sliders and proximity sensors. You can also access the component data sheet for the component characterization data and API functions. You can use the API functions to call the component in your main.c file in the adjacent tab inside the PSOC creator. We also provide a library of other components from the component catalog list in the right-hand side of the window. You can simply drag and drop these components into your schematics, make the system interconnect with the other components, and customize them using the configuration tool. Once you have customized the project for your requirements, click on the build to generate all the source files, and click on program to write a hex file to the PSOC 4000 device in the kit. To learn more about PSOC Creator, please visit cypress.com creator. For more information about the kit and the PSOC 4000 products, please visit cypress.com go slash PSOC4. Thank you for watching.